Hey, it's Wynn Chemistry, and today we are going to learn how to convert metric units. Um, we'll start with a couple easy examples, and then we'll move our way up. We'll start with 5 meters, and we're going to go ahead and change this to kilometers. Okay. So the first thing you have to realize is um, there are uh, the same steps that you, you would have to take um, for each problem. So, I mean, I'll, I'll write it here. The first step, okay, is um, write down what you have. Okay, the second step, I like to call this one, match upper left with bottom right. Okay, the third step is um, the one that's higher up. Okay, gets the one and the one that is uh, lower on the chart always gets 10 and then the fourth step fourth and final step would be whoever's lower whoever has the 10 you need to figure out the exponent and the exponent comes from reading the chart that's given to you um, you don't have to memorize the prefixes just understand how to use the chart okay and we'll kind of go from there so um, in following step one write down what you have. So we're going to start off with 5 meters. And the next thing you do, of course, just like in any conversion, you're going to go time sign and then draw a line. The next thing is upper left. Okay, Upper left here has to match bottom right, so then those units cancel. And then of course here, you're going to fill in kilometers because it's the unit that you want. And now you check your chart. Okay, So then I'm going to switch to green ink here, and then I'll make a little mark there. We're going from, uh, it looks like meters, okay, which is down here, the base unit, and we're changing this to kilometers. Okay. Now, you ask yourself, well, which one is higher up? It's kilo, so then kilo gets the one. And then your base, okay, 10. So you can write a 10. And then what's the exponent? Well, the exponent you actually get from looking at the power difference. Okay, so I'm gonna box this little zero here. Three, and then you look at the power difference. So what that means is you kind of treat everything kind of like it's on a number line. So this is our number line, and then here, that's zero, and then this is one, two, three. So three would be at kilo, and then zero would be like the base down here. So that means the distance from kilo to base is three. So that means this 10 now gets a three as an exponent. Okay, so at this point you just kind of crunch everything in your calculator. You go 5 divided by 1000. You're going to get 0 0.005 kilometers. Okay, But you also have to recognize that you can place this number in scientific notation and then you end up getting 5 times 10 to the negative third kilometers finished. Okay, so that's the first example. So that's going from like a base unit to something um, bigger than itself. Okay. Now, how about if we have a problem that, you know, is asking, go from five meters to centimeters. Okay, so then now we're just going to go time sign, draw a line, upper left, matches bottom right, and the unit that we want goes above. Okay, it goes on top of the line. Who's higher up? Well, make a little mark here and then here. Okay, it looks like you're comparing base unit and you're changing it to centimeters. So that means the base unit this time is bigger, so it gets the one. Okay, it's higher up on the chart. This guy is left with a 10. And now you just compare the base difference, or sorry, the, the power difference, and the power difference is um, a 2, okay? And how I teach it, it's always a positive exponent here, okay, for your conversion factor. So this thing that I'm circling, this is known as your conversion factor. That's always going to have a positive exponent. Now, your answer can have a negative exponent. It just really depends on the problem that you're given, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, so here, you know, it's 5 times 10 to the second power, which gives you 
500 centimeters, which you can also rewrite as 5 times 10 to the second centimeters. Problem finished. Okay, now we probably want to try, um, let's say you're going from like um, kilometers. Okay. So we're going from like uh, five kilometers. Go ahead and change this to millimeters. Okay, so of course millimeters would be like way down here. So you're going from kilometers to millimeters. Okay, so now you match your units, upper left, bottom right. Millimeters will go here on top. And then now you compare on the chart who's higher up. Well, it looks like, you know, kilos higher up, obviously, gets the one. Millimeters lower on the ladder, give that the, the, the 10. Okay, and now it's your job to find the power difference. So the power difference this time is you're going from a positive 3 exponent to a negative 3. That would give you an absolute distance of 6. Okay, so now your answer is 5 times 10 to the 6 millimeters. Okay, and just um, one or two more examples. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to go from 5 centimeters and we're going to change this to millimeters. Okay, so now you're just going to start the problem the same way. Write down what you have, time sign, draw a line, upper left, bottom right matches. Ask yourself who's higher up. Okay, so now you're comparing centi and then milli. Well, centi is higher up. This guy gets the 1. This guy is left with the 10. What's the power difference? The power difference is you're going from something that is at a negative 2 to a negative 3 in the power difference. So that means um, this guy will get a 1 okay, because the distance between them is just 1. That's how I like to look at it. Okay, and then obviously, you know, once you have that set up correctly, this is 5 times 10 to the first, or you can write, you know, 50 millimeters. Okay, so either answer is acceptable because they mean the same thing. Okay, and now we can try just one more, you know, just something that's above the base unit. So um, let's go ahead and try. Let's see here. Let's go five kilometers and let's change that to decameters. Okay, five km, time sign, draw a line. Upper left, bottom right. Who's higher up? Make a little mark here and then here and then obviously it's kilometers. That gets a 1. Deca gets a 10. And the power difference this time, you're comparing a 3 and then also a 1 that's here. So the power difference is 2. So it looks like the answer is 5 times 10 to the second power decameters. Okay. And that concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always email me at dkwin at capitalusd.org. See you in class.